Nominations are now open. Nominations are now open for the 8th Annual Heart of Education Awards. And they honor our hardworking CCSD teachers for their outstanding work. And here to talk about the awards are Myron Martin, CEO and President of the Smith Center. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. And a music teacher and past education winner, Tyler Swick. Tyler, very nice <laughs> to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I can tell you're still basking in the glow oh, yeah. of very previously exciting. winning. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Congratulations. I'm going to ask Myron first, why is it so important that we recognize our teachers here at CCSD? Well, teachers are the kinds of people who don't think about themselves, right? They care about their kids. They care about the art of teaching. And it was about time that somebody turned their spotlights on the teachers themselves, mm -hmm. and we all as a community said thank you. Oh, that's fantastic. And the Heart of Education Awards, this is the eighth year for it now. How much money? I mean, this is some grand, grand prize money. <laughs> well, it, it is. I mean, people like Tyler walk home with a big check for $5,000, and their programs go home with, with checks as well. This year, the Heart of Education Awards will go over a million dollars in total funding direct to teachers, uh, which makes us really happy. That's fantastic. Uh, Tyler, we're looking at you uh, <laughs> getting the announcement, and it was during the pandemic, so tell us how you found out. This was in 2020. Well, my lovely principal, Dr. Hall, you can see on the screen, uh, lied to me oh. and said that we were doing interviews uh, for CCSD. We're going to hire some new music teachers and thought my expertise was needed, which I thought was a flattery in itself. Uh, and then Myron shows up, and I go, well, this guy's a, he's not going to be, you know, he's, he's a new teacher, I guess, <laughs> okay? And uh, so if I looked uh, a little confused in the video, I was, I was confused, uh, and then I was quite emotional. It was oh. an incredible recognition of all the things that have gone on. Imagine what it was like for me to pop into their Zoom meeting right. and say, hey, by the way, you won the Heart of Education <laughs> Award this year. It was very cool. Very cool. And you teach at Ellis Elementary School. It's your fifth year. So uh, you won $5,000. That's the personal award that goes to the winners. And $1,000 for the, a program of your choice at the school. Where would you put the money? Uh, I put the $5,000 towards renovating my home studio for teaching from home. Uh, I won the middle of uh, our quarantine. So it was a fantastic time to win, because during one of the darkest times of teaching, this incredible acknowledgement comes in. Oh. And I'm incredibly grateful to the Rogers Foundation and the Smith Center for that. Uh, and so I spent the 5000 on making sure the computer and the cameras are all looking great. Oh. Uh, and then the $1,000 went to uh, creating a drum line at our school, which I'm happy to say is going to be playing a, a Silver Knights home game soon. Oh so. my gosh, that's fantastic. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, we have to talk about quickly the importance of writing the letters and nominating a teacher. That's the thing. Right now is the time where you can nominate a teacher for the Heart of Education Awards. It only takes a minute. Mm -hmm. You go online, you can go to the Smith Center's website, and you say something nice about a teacher. And here's the beauty of it. Uh, not only do the winners hear that they won something, but everyone who's nominated gets an email saying, someone said this really nice thing about you. Mm. It's, I call them love letters in, in the teachers' inboxes because sometimes they don't realize that parents and other teachers and the lunch lady down the hallway see them as mentors and people that inspire them. So it's great for them to hear this. That's fabulous. All right, the uh, deadline is January 20th. So get your nominations in, kids, parents, neighbors, everybody, and then you'll celebrate them all and the winners will be announced in April. Is that right? It'll be yeah. announced in April and it'll be teachers like this mm. who go above and beyond. Thank you both for being here. It was great to meet you. Enjoy. I know your kids must love you. I'm having a good time. And you know we love you. <laughs> Thanks, Meyer, for being Thank here. You. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. All